Hey Bieros, welcome back to our travel series. Today we've crossed the border from Latvia into the beautiful country of Lithuania. Let's dive into the adventure. Lithuania, nestled in the Baltic region, boasts a unique geographical location on the eastern coast of the Baltic Sea. Known for its rich history and culture, this country has so much to offer. Our first stop was truly awe-inspiring, the Hill of Crosses. Located on the way to Vilnius, this iconic site is covered in thousands of crosses, each telling a story of fate, hope and resilience. It's a must visit for any traveler. Fun fact! The hill crosses has become a symbol of peaceful resistance as people from all walks of life continue to add crosses to express their prayers and intentions. Tanasan ka biyahero? Hero of the crosses. Dito sa dito. Lithuania. This. Next on our journey, we explore the enchanting Trakai Island Castle. Stepping inside, we discovered a world of history with various rooms and quarters on display. The castle is situated on an island in Lake Gulf and is a picturesque sight to behold. Let's delve deeper into the enchanting world of Trakai Island Castle. As we wandered through the corridors, we couldn't help but be captivated by the tales hidden within its walls. Did you know that Trokai Island Castle dates back to the 14th century? It's not just a standing fortress, it's a living piece of history. These are all tarot cards, eh? Ibe bang tarot cards, no? Alipin, sumunod ka sa akin, Alipin. Fun fact, the Trukai Island Castle has been meticulously restored to offer visitors a glimpse into Lithuania's medieval heritage. The preservation's efforts truly make history come alive. Inside, we explored various rooms, each revealing a different facet of the castle's past, from the intricately decorated ground hall to the cozy living quarters. Every corner spoke volumes about the lives that unfolded within these walls. Whether you're a history buff or just appreciate the beauty of ancient architecture, Trakai Island Castle is a must-visit destination, offering a serene escape into the past.
Finally, we arrive in the charming capital city of Lithuania, Vilnius. Though small, it's a city that captivates with its quiet beauty. The cobblestone streets and historic architecture create an atmosphere that feels both cozy and magical. Cold cuts and potatoes. Try me. Make it. Is it up? I don't last one. As the day unfolded, we decided to indulge in some Lithuanian delicacies at Kat Pedela. We tried the famous cold beetroot soup with baby potatoes, potato dumplings with meat, and stuffed cabbage rolls. A culinary experience to remember. What can you say about their food, JM? Masarap, no? This one, no? So, potato. Patito yeah. seeds, this one. Yeah. You go, Jay. Set up. Yeah. Huh? Healthy. Healthy yung mga food nila. Ito rin potato, uh, meat na may naka-cabbage, no? Ito, set up. Lalo na lalagyan mo ng sour cream. Wow. Puro patatas sila. Amazing. Wala na silang kanin. Welcome to Bilanos, Lithuania. Satisfied and content, we strolled through the charming streets of Vilnius before settling in for the night at the Urbihap Hotel, a cozy retreat in the heart of the city. After a peaceful night's sleep, we woke up to a beautiful morning in Vilnius and decided to head back to Latvia. But not before indulging in a delicious breakfast at the hotel. Are you enjoying your breakfast, Jason? Huh? Go be a hero, JM. Yeah, look, look at my place. Especially the pancake with the banana inside. Like the <laughs> and that concludes our Lithuanian adventure. If you enjoyed the travel vlog, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more explorations. Until next time, happy travels, Biajero!